Governor Eddie Baza Calvo has invoked his right to take the helm of Guam's only public hospital. The move comes one week after the resignation of three Board of Trustee members, including Chair Lee Weber. I want to thank Lee Weber and also all those others that resigned, as well as the current members of the board, the management, all the staff of the hospital for all their hard work and effort. Uh, but that being said, moving forward, uh, we also understand that this hospital is so vitally important to the people of Guam. We also understand that the issues that are now confronting uh, this hospital, particularly the areas of finance, are, are to such a point uh, that the hospital is in need of external uh, intervention. And for me as a governor of Guam, it's my role and my responsibility. GMH operates at a chronic deficit and is millions behind in vendor payables. In fact, the executive order signed by Governor Calvo Thursday stated, quote, GMH's finances have reached a critical point and vendors have threatened to withhold crucial supplies that are needed in the course of daily operations, end quote. This, among many other issues, prompted Calvo to order swift and immediate action be taken to assist GMH. I'm putting together a management advisory team out of Adeloup. Uh, these are key members of our fiscal as well as other departments and agencies with the, government, with the governor's oversight coming together to focus on giving whatever assistance uh, is necessary for myself, uh, for the current members of the board and management uh, to put this hospital in a stabilized position. GMH Administrator Ted Lewis said he hopes help from the governor will provide a much needed infusion of cash in the short term. But in the long run we're also wanting to address that and I believe that Senator Rodriguez is going to be um, um, putting forth a bill to, to help the hospital pay its significantly get its payables down, as was done a couple of years ago. Governor Calvo said he has confidence that the hospital will recover. Since this is the only hospital that is, that is owned by the people of Guam, uh, and it has a, a, a responsibility to accept all. So this is where this team is going to come together. Uh, we are going to focus on what issues uh, are at hand and get ahead of those issues and resolve them. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Issa Baza.